What's going on YouTube and welcome to Digital Perspective. I'm Khaled and that's Yuki. And in today's video, we're going to do a three part series to this where we're going to be designing a uh, almost like a Netflix style uh, welcome screen, which we're going to have some interactive and we're going to utilize some of XD's new features as well in terms of the video uh, and some, perhaps some Lottie animations as well. So if you're ready for all of that and you're excited and you want to get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on before we get started and let's just roll the intro. So what's going on guys? So as I said, three part series to this. The first part is we're going to probably try and lay out some of the design framework for this, but I'm going to put on screen here what the final thing looks like and what we're trying to achieve so you know exactly what we're trying to work for. So without further ado, let's just jump into the screen. So you can see here, Again, I'm working on Adobe XD, but again, you can probably work on the same thing with Figma and Sketch. Um, but with this, I'm specifically using XD because I want to utilize some of the new uh, features that's been updated inside of XD. So just to really show the power of XD in this. So I've got uh, just a regular canvas size, um, 1366 by 768, just like a normal website browser size. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of get cracking on this. So I want to make a dark background, just slightly with a tint of blue. Um, so again, like I said, this is going to be some sort of like a, a web web player. And again, if you haven't seen, we've done almost we've done a, a web player type challenge in one of our episodes. I'm going to put it in the cards. I believe it should be there um, in the video, so you can actually see what what we've done for that for that university one. So we're going to try and create something similar to that. Um, but at the same time, we again, like I said, you know, we're going to utilize some of the new um, techniques that we allowed here. So this is where I'm going to have my main um, image playing. I'm going to put my main title text here. So let's say, uh, let's say this is Resident Evil. I'm just going to make the font size big. Uh, perhaps we left align that, of course, and we'll call it wherever we want. So welcome to. Raccoon City, I believe is the new film that's coming out. That's what it's called. I've got some kernel in there, which I don't, don't want. So I'm just going to mess about with the spacing a little bit. Now, because this is a really long title, I can do that, which I guess, I guess it's fine. I'm not too fussed about that, but ideally I would have hoped for, <laughs> hoped for a slightly smaller one. Um, Peggy 18 as they say. Uh, well, we won't say that, we'll say it's rated 18. Not sure exactly what it is actually rated, but I'm sure Resident Evil is probably gonna be rated 18. I might be sure. Do you know what, in fact, I think we might be better off getting that image in there. Uh, so, okay, so let's, let's quickly do that. Um, rated 18 PNG, oh, I'm not even typing anything. Rated 18 PNG. I don't know what that symbol is. 18, there we go. Do we want that? We want this. This is this the one we want, right? Hopefully it's PNG. Perfect. Click and drag that in there. And then we're just going to size this down. Again, like I said with this, this is, we're doing a multiple, 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 can't even speak, multiple part series to this. So today is, for, you know, until the rest of the week, is this what we're going to pretty much be building out. So you can kind of see the stages that I go through that. So again, you've got the 18 plus there. Um, I want to have a play button, and this is probably where we're going to utilize uh, the first new feature in Adobe XD, which is the Lottie animations. And I'm going to go in there, I'm going to search for play. And Lottie, again, if you haven't got it, just download it from the play, uh, from the store icon uh, in terms of Adobe plugins. So if you go back here, just click plus, and then you just search for Lottie here. I'm just going to quickly show it to you guys. Lottie, and once it comes up, just hit install. Mine's already installed, hit install, and then boom, it will come into this section here, and then you'll see Lottie files there, and then that's it. So I'm gonna put play icon, I'm gonna search. And what ultimately what this does to do while it searches is that it allows you to actually play Lottie animations inside Adobe XD, um, really making your uh, prototyping, I guess, that much kind of really, you know, interesting to look at. So I'm just trying to find perhaps a good play button. Um, just a simple one, I think, is all I want. I don't want I don't want anything really drastic, to be fair. 
Mm. Yeah, I think I quite like this one. Might just go for that one, just for simplicity's sake, really. I'm just gonna drag it out. Play it there. Ideally, what we want, this is where we're gonna have the play button, right? Um, so play automatically, yes, I do want it looping. So this is the options that you have there. So you can either play it automatically and you can loop it at the same time. Obviously, in this case, we're gonna loop it. Um, what else do we wanna have? We can have a share icon. So in case we wanna share the, um, no, let's see, all of these, all of these are too much. They do way too much. I don't want any of that. I just want something probably white, simple. Um, hopefully we'll find something similar to that. Just something so simple and straightforward. I'm not looking for something crazy really. But there we go. There we go. Um, oh, I've done. Go back, sorry. Uh, please tell me I haven't lost it. Hopefully I haven't lost it. Yes, I think I have. Right, crap. Uh, share, and I believe it was on page two. Or page three, page three, sorry about that. This is the one, click and drag that in. Boom. Oh, it says it's incompatible, why is that? So let's insert it as an SVG then. Right, clearly that lot of animation is poorly done so we can't use that one and this is let's go back to page three do you know I'm going to use this one hopefully this one's better there we go much better finally got there in the end right folks got there um, I'll push that here so in case you want to share the video zoom in perfect uh, also what we want to do is we want actually let me just select all of this Unselect that, group this together, and just push it up. Right. Uh, also, we want to we want to have maybe a section here where they can actually select um, the movie that they're watching. Right. So let's have a box there, maybe ever so slightly curve the edges. I guess I'm going to duplicate it, make it smaller, push it back once, and obviously I'm pressing Command back parentheses to push it back and uh, do that. And the reason why I'm doing that is again I'll probably show you but uh, you would have seen in some of my other tutorials on how to create uh, sexy shadows so if you've seen that tutorial again I'm putting it in the card probably up there somewhere in the corner um, what that is basically it shows you how you can create really cool um, shadows so you can see here if I click on object blur you can see how I'm blurring the objects there that's essentially what we're trying to do. So, if I now ungroup these, perfect, and I select these, these three, I'm gonna group these together, these three will act as my, uh, what do you call it? So you know when you select it and then it goes to the next action or the next the next movie, if, if you will, that's what that will do. Uh, I'm just laying things out right now because I'm I, I, I want to, I want to put in, what do you call it, um, the actual colouring and everything like that probably in the next video, but for this one all I really want to do is get the framework in or the blueprints of where I want things to be placed. Right, um, <clears throat> centralise that, perfect, I'm just going to drag that in a little bit as well, perfect. What else do we need? We need some user account information here, right? So we're not going to have everything, every icon animated. I think that'd be a bit overkill. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go to icon designs and I'm going to go for user. And I'm going to find a nice little user one, which is that one there. Paste up there. Now, obviously, because this is all going to be dark themed, uh, it's you know I have to make my icons white so what else do we need we've got we've got user icon oh we need like a gear icon like a settings icon I think Americans call that a cog I mean we call it a cog as well but I think it's used as a, a 
that's a settings icon so let me try settings there you go I'll take this one so you can't click and drag with icon 4 which is what I really find annoying um, you have to really just kind of click it and then it pastes it in the most awkward place um, which is like in the top corner maybe there's a setting to turn it off I don't know if you guys let me know in the comments section if there is a setting to turn it off and I'm just being a a, a a slow designer and not actually doing my due diligence and actually finding out where it is to make it smaller I'm gonna lower the 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 border as well make that into white uh, perhaps one more we'll have a search one again just keep it simple I'll take the iOS one and paste it there perfect oh this one's fill rather than a thingy um, right okay so obviously we're gonna have the logo in the top left hand corner um, we're gonna have the 18 rated thing there oh um, I'm copying the the gray background and I'm pushing it up only because I I know we're gonna need some sort of a gradient um, overlay so that the text and the icons can be seen correctly so I'm adding that now even though really that's more of a, a design thing I think we, which we could fix later on but I'm just gonna add it now just holding command and back parentheses just to shift it backwards and I'm just gonna shift it all the way until it's just above everything except the gray uh, image at the bottom just make sure that this is completely zero yep and turn it down a bit perfect okay so what do we have we have got the artboard for the movies um, we have we've got the title of the movie and we've got the play button the share button we've got our icons up there we've got these are the other current kind of films that you can watch I guess um, I mean really if you wanted to what we can also do is just put that there and just say um, newest films added right now again we're not building out the entire thing because if we were building out then obviously we'd build in the play button and everything like that below here um, put like a no actually let's use let's use an icon here instead so we're going to do chevron right I believe let's just say chevron Chevron, Chevron, Chevron. I never know, never know how to say that one. Actually, is it Chevron, Chevron? Anyway, um, place that there. Put it into white. And again, because I can't make. See, okay. See, because this is already a filled item, and I want it to be slightly thinner. I'm just going to cheat it a little bit. I'm going to put a border on there. Make it the same background, and make sure that the border's internal or inside. And you can see here. Every time I increase it, it makes the it's a little hack you know I'm not proud of it but it's a hack nevertheless right and then what that does is basically gives me a nice little thin now obviously I have to reduce that because I'm making the size smaller perfect right and that really just serves as a purpose to say that you know we can add more stuff here and there um, grab those two make sure that they are central line to each other perfect right I think I think we're ready to yeah okay so there you have it right folks so I think what we've done there now is we've set up the um, the wireframe and all the placement for the things that we want to add um, so in the next video what we're going to do is we're actually gonna go ahead and start adding things in like the videos the colorings and the posters and making things really come to life in the next video so yeah be sure to smash a like in this one and depending on when you're viewing this the other video might be down there already for you if not and you're watching this on the day of the release of this video be sure to check this out tomorrow where we'll release the next video and really hope you've enjoyed the content and until the next video my name is Khaled and I'll see you then peace